Hi, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna uh, talk about uh, what you can use your journal for. So, if you're uh, wondering and uh, discussing in your mind that you want to start journaling and you want to start uh, just uh, to try out uh, what is it all about and uh, you don't know uh, what you want to use that journal for and you're just confused and you don't know uh, what to do with all that journaling and all that, those advices so now I'm going to simplify that for you and just give you one simple uh, answer and then I'm going to give you some other uh, principles and ways that you can use your journal, journal for. So first uh, you can use your journal for simply working on yourself. So all these principles are uh, under this one topic, uh, big topic and that is work on yourself. So that work on yourself can be divided, divided in many more uh, like areas so you can work on your goals on your personal uh, so physical health on your mental health on your emotional intelligence on whatever uh, you want to work on but that's simply working on yourself and that's actually one really uh, great way to start working on yourself because your journal is going to be uh, the best actually tool for improving yourself for working on yourself so if you're thinking about starting to journal that's actually great uh, great uh, thing and you're on a great way to improve yourself and you just ha have to keep keep going on, on that way, on that road and now uh, all uh, I will give you some practical things uh, that you can use your journal for and the first thing uh, that comes to my mind is actually gratitude because uh, when I first uh, started uh, journaling uh, I actually uh, did gratitude but without uh, journaling so I first started uh, doing gratitude uh, without any any uh, journal. I just did it like verbally, and I was just saying uh, either out loud or uh, to myself what I'm grateful for. But then I learned uh, one really important thing, and that is that if you write uh, what you're grateful for, it's much more powerful than if you just say it out loud or whatever. So when I learned that, I started uh, to actually uh, do gratitude in my journal and. I just simply write down everything I'm grateful for and everything I would have uh, usually say out loud I just uh, write it down in my journal and that uh, really gives you powerful feeling and it uh, fulfills you and gives you actually a sense of uh, having enough and you have feeling that you really have enough you, you become uh, aware of what uh, you have and you realize that you actually have a lot uh, in your life and you really uh, become truly grateful for that uh, for all that you have other things you can use your journal for is for example uh, to clear your mind out so uh, we in these days have a lot of lot of information and it ju we are just stuffed and uh, constantly bombed with uh, tons tons and tons of information and uh, when you actually uh, can clear your mind and when you have some space and place to uh, just uh, get all uh, everything from your mind out and you have clear clear mind uh, it's much more easier to fun function it to think and to be calm actually and uh, this uh, uh, method is actually c uh, combined to that uh, actually benefit that you become calm uh, after you clear your mind uh, you'll have much bigger chances chances of becoming uh, calm and you'll be actually uh, much more under control of yourself. I'll give you an example of how I started uh, using this method, uh, actually clearing my mind and just expressing anything uh, on the paper. So that's actually how I first started journaling. I just took simple notebook and I was writing down uh, just uh, once a day everything, everything that comes to my mind. So either I had an event that I want to remember or that was one really exciting event, or I just bought something or I went uh, to some uh, exciting new place or I did a great training, I had a great time with my family or whatever I just write it down uh, in the notebook and I write a quick short summary of my day for example, for example if I write uh, about uh, that at the end of my day in the evening I write down about uh, my day just uh, like a quick story of what I did just if I would uh, meet my friend and tell him everything I, uh, I did that day I write it down in the journal but here in journal 
I can be much more uh, specific and uh, give some more details and uh, I can uh, list out more important things uh, for, for myself and that when you do that uh, you feel much more calm and you actually uh, don't have that weight on yourself and you're just free so that's one really huge uh, huge tip uh, huge uh, actually way to use your journal and other uh, last tip uh, last way to use your journal for in this video is to actually work on your goals and to to sort out your ideas so uh, we all have goals uh, but there's one really really important quote that says uh, when you have a wish uh, and that's just a wish it's not written on the paper it's just a wish but when you write it down on the paper when you put uh, some uh, uh, deadlines when you uh, put their date when you want to accomplish that and you, you specify that uh, what is exactly specifically what you want to achieve then it becomes a goal uh, and when you have that goal written down on the paper you have that clear vision of your goal then you have much more higher chances of achieving that goal actually and uh, you can work on that goal you have some space in that notebook to write down some ideas that are uh, coming to your mind on how should you uh, achieve that goal what should you work on what should you improve you can track your daily progress uh, when coming to that goal you can track uh, what you're doing every day uh, in order to uh, come closer to that goal and that's really really huge and really useful thing to do because if you just keep everything in your head you have feeling maybe that you're doing something but if you actually write down on the paper your goals and that uh, you're tracking progress of what you're doing every day you're gonna be making much more progress and you're gonna be aware of that and you're gonna be going in the right direction because uh, you have insight in what you're doing and you're not just going anywhere because when you don't know where where you are going you'll be uh, you'll end up somewhere else and not where you want uh, to go so make sure to really track your goals and uh, be careful and uh, take care of that uh, road uh, and path that you're always on the right path to your goals so i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video